Hi guys, Pastor Chad here. So excited to be with you. Uh, this is our Port Naz devotional series. We're gonna get rolling, but before we do, can I say happy Thanksgiving or happy Thanksgiving week. Uh, this is Tuesday, and so we got a few more days. And I know some of you, this is gonna be unique and challenging Thanksgiving. You're missing what you may have had. You, you think the challenges just seem like they're almost getting too much to bear, and I, and I get that. Some of you may be a normal Thanksgiving, and, and this is just gonna be the same as always. But for many of us, it's, it's been a challenge and a struggle, and we just kind of seems like the challenge is getting bigger and bigger, and we don't know how, sometimes where to turn. In today's devotional lesson, I want to give you some, a story that happened to, to my wife and I, Vani, uh, over a year ago when we were in the hospital. Uh, a devotional I read that, that God reminded me that I needed to hear again. It's because sometimes the challenges before me seem too great that I have to, re, I have to be reminded that God is still there, and that even though the, the leaps are, are in ours, aren't always what I see, that God is still moving and things are still happening. So about a year ago, we were, we were, uh, we were on vacation. It was the end of the summer and, and Vonnie wasn't doing real well. We knew that, but we tried to get in one more vacation thinking we could do that and then maybe call the doctor. But in that vacation, it didn't go real well and Vonnie started getting worse and worse and she, she began to lose the ability to walk. And we didn't know what to do, so we just packed up our things in, in one bag that we wanted, sent our boys home with my, my brother and sister, and we packed a small bag, and I packed a few books that I was going to read and a few new things. I just threw it in there and left. No idea what God had in store for me, and still does today. But we, we took off and went to Cedar sinai Hospital and went to the ER, and they checked her in, and man, for, for a week plus, we were doing test after test after test, and they could not figure out what was going on. The challenge seemed too big. We were getting nervous and didn't understand what to do. And, and I began it towards the end of, of that, or middle of that week to, to take out this devotional book. It, it's called The Book of Mysteries. It, it's a unique one. I, I'd never heard of it, but my, my mother-in-law gave it to my wife and we just so happened to have it with us. I think God kind of intervened a bit, but we had this book and about three days in, I began to read each devotional one by one. And by day seven, it shows you how long we were there. By day seven, when we felt like we were kind of just not having a clue where to turn next, feeling like it, things just were not recovering like we hoped for and the doctors weren't sure what to do. I felt like I was asking God, like, what do I do now? What is next? And I was looking for the big and the miraculous and the huge, and we often do. But then I read this devotional that I want to read to you today. I know I don't do this a lot, but can I just read it to you? And hopefully it'll be a blessing and, and help inspire you as well. It says this, it was a, it's called the power of the Yud. You ever heard of the Yud? I never had. It says this, the teacher led me out into the desert where I sat down and in the sand with him face to face. He picked up a stick and with the slightest of movements created the smallest of marks in the sand. This can change your life, the teacher said. An apostrophe? No, a yud. Well, what's a yud? A yud is a letter, the smallest of Hebrew letters, barely more than a dot, so small you could miss it. From the yud came the Roman letters I and J, and from the yud came the Greek letter iota, like as in not even one iota. Yes, uh, not in even one jot. It all comes from the tiny letter. So the smallest of letters, huh? Why is that so significant? That's the point. As the smallest of letters, it is the most significant. It is the Yud that begins the greatest and most sacred Hebrew words. The sacred name of God, Yahweh, begins with a Yud. The land of God, Israel, begins with a Yud. The city of Jerusalem, uh, the city of God, Jerusalem, begins with a yud. And the name of Jesus in Hebrew begins as well with a yud. And, and what does it all mean? The greatest of words begin with the smallest of letters. In the same way, the greatest of God's work begins with the smallest strokes. Life itself begins on a scale so small it can't even be seen. Yet it's the secret of the yud. And how does, it, and how does one apply it, he says. We are called to the new and to the change. By the nature, we avoid both newness and change. So how do you change? How do you go from life of failure to a life of victory? It's an overwhelming prospect. So how do you do it? With a yud, the teacher said. You start by taking the yud of steps, the smallest of steps towards the greatest of changes. You don't start out with a great victory, but you take the yud, one small action, one little step towards that great victory. You can take that one step, that yud of courage, that iota of change, that smallest stroke of the new beginnings, the yud of life you're called to live. You begin the greatest of things with the smallest of strokes. You begin by applying the secret of the yud. 
Today, take the smallest of actions, but in a new direction. The first step towards a life of victory you're called to live, the yud of a new journey. I read that to Vaughn and we sat there thinking of how do we get out of bed? This time she could not really even stand and walk and we, we could barely move. And, and so that next, that next afternoon we tried to do it and she stood and it wasn't a lot, but all of a sudden we said, there's a yud, Vaughn. And we began to look at it differently. We didn't always look for the massive. We began to find the, the smaller steps that became massive in our lives. Wherever you are today, whatever challenge you're facing, I want to challenge you to not just look at the leap you need to make, but the small step that's in front of you. The yud, the yud of work, the smallest of things that may make the biggest of changes. Whatever goes on this week in your Thanksgiving week, don't just see the things you can't do, see the things you can do. Take the, the yud approach and begin to find the small steps that, that begin to find new victories in your life. I hope this will be an encouragement to you as it is to me to continue to remind myself to stop looking always for the massive and to begin to find God sometimes in the whisper and in the small. May you be a challenge to be a Yud person this week. God bless you.